Hey everyone, it's John Irfan here from The Automator, and today with Windows, especially 10 and 11, has been having problems sending keystrokes with hot strings and even with hot keys of sending the, the keystrokes. So we said, hey, you know what? Pasting is far better a way to do your hot string or hot key to, to dump in text. Um, I think most people know that, right? But we wrote a little function to not only do that, which we're going to demonstrate here, but also to do some other really cool stuff like pasting in images or pasting in HTML, like actually rich text of HTML where it's uh, rendered. So Irfan's going to show you here. Let's start looking. Let's start off with the first one. Now, of course, the trigger can be a hot string or a hot key, right? But we're demonstrating the first couple here are just hot strings. And you get to choose what your hot string is, right? So we're not trying to tell you to that. Um, oh, but yeah, go ahead and explain where the files go first. Yes. So first of all, we have to like make it sure we are running V2. So we had requires, then we include the library. Uh, and here is the lib folder. And inside lib folder, these three files are required. Actually, clips, clips to include these two libraries to work. And... Uh, here we include the clipster, and then we are good to go. After that, uh, you can see the first example, uh, h tag is a hot string, and we are using a function, and just just a text or email uh, URL address. So if I do h dot tag here, let me. Now it is, uh, you can see that it is not sending word by word, but it just pasted it. The clipster function copies it, and my clipboard has something else. So my clipboard doesn't change at all. So we are keeping the backup of the clipboard and uh, then restoring the you, clipboard. Er, 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 do me a favor. I don't think that was quite like copy examples. The word examples to your clipboard. So if I copy it here, and then if I etch dot, and if I paste, I have examples. Right. And uh, the other example is simple. Is simple. I start learn. So we are just like, instead of sending tests, we are pasting it. Um, okay. And so here greetings. Are yeah. yeah. Greetings. And, so, and then let's go ahead and demonstrate it. Now, if we wanted to put a line break after looking forward to, and then um, let's put a line break. So show how easy that would be in here. And now put a tick mark in. If, there we go. After you, yes, there we go. And if I reload the script, it will refresh all my script. And then if I send h.gr, and yep. you can see the next line, we just pasted it instead of sending. And the other benefit of is like while writing HTML, we can have advantage, we can take advantage. So for this example, h.red, h.red. You can see I am here. Now I can continue here. So what I did, I left, press left 16 times to get here. Just like this, we have defined input. And it's very simple and easy to write HTML with these kinds of helps. And when we go to the next level, like the enter key we can send for like if we have or we want to add something in here open window open window you gotta hit the browse hit yeah, the browse. browse i hate this yeah. new interface it's yeah. horrible yeah. yeah so if i do p dot icon i literally na navigate to that icon folder so if I do all files, I'm looking at my icons. So yeah, and this, when you have network drives with crazy paths, it's a great way to be able to jump to whatever folder you want to very quickly. Yes, we just have to like 
case we will paste the path and then send the entry key and it will directly navigate to, us, right. to that folder. And uh, the next level is like we can do HTML and uh, but the second parameter will instead of keys it will turn into HTML. So and here we can pass HTML like with tags and hyperlinks. This HTML defines hyperlink and if I press F10 in the word it's just pasted the thing. So we here we are pasting the hyperlink. Is hyperlink is working fine. So it's one of the things with normal hot strings in Auto Hotkey. You you can just paste plain text, right? You can't have something hyperlinked or have it bold or something. And by building it with HTML and then shoving that into the clipboard as an HTML format we're able to paste it into programs that handle HTML, like let's say Gmail or Word or whatever, right? It's it's a great way, uh, but you do have to know how to create HTML. And I'll show you a shortcut way to get that later. So if I like want to bold this line, I can do something like this. And if I reload this thing, I get the boldness. So you see, I just, you, by using HTML, I just muted the text, few text into the world, and uh, it is just pasting it. Uh, and the other example is also about the HTML. This is like three lines, like here we are taking advantage of join, and we are using line breaks to add into the all the lines, and in the end, we are pasting the that text as a variable. So if I press F11 here, it, you see how fast it is, and it is pasting all the text and with the hyperlinks. And I can use all the advantage of the HTML. And the last one is, <laughs> there is the last one. No. We can also we can also paste images, not the images URL, but the bitmaps. The uh, let me show you. Just if I uh, if I give the URL and the next parameter is tick, then it will paste instead of sending the URL, it will the file pass. Yeah. yeah. So if I do p dot ru and I get the image and I can move it. So, and uh, there are other images like P. Dog. And you can see this is an other image. And there is a P. .ing. So it is that easy. So multiple images can be configured while working, and uh, the user can have advantages. And uh, do yeah, a let's, quick thing. let's go back to the script and just to clarify the the thing after the second colon. So there's the asterisk, which means like don't wait for a, a trigger. The X says everything to the right is going to be an actual hotkey, um, auto hotkey function, not not yeah. sending text. So that P dot R U, that's whatever you want, right? Like that we I like using the first letter to think about what it is, and then a cup a dot, and then a couple letters to remember. So there's the picture, and then it's like what picture, right? Um, those really help prevent accidental triggers because once you start adding these, you, you can't just have a simple if you do. You'll often have them. You'll realize that word is a subset of another word that you actually type often. So I have taken this approach to help me remember, and especially like patterns, I'll do like E dot and then the initials of the person, and that'll dump in their email address for me, right? So I give patterns to things, um, and it really helps you have a lot more in memory because these we don't have a GUI, right? Like so, you got to remember them. So I hope you guys like that. Um, let me show you real quickly. Here, let me share my screen. Um, this tool, now when you go to it, let me load it. 
because I think it well it starts off what I would do is just select all and delete it but here if I'm in let's start word and say so let's say I wanted that bolded and this hyperlinked now when I copy this this is we're actually not 100% sure we think it Word converts to HTML, but I use this tool. I can paste from Word, and this writes very, very um, tidy, clean HTML that this is what I would go put into our tool. So if you don't know HTML, it's a great way. Um, I'll, I'll give the link uh, in the video here, but um, it's a great way to get very clean HTML because if you were in Word and you're like, well, hey, I can save it. As I can save it as HTML, the amount of crap that Word throws in there is ridiculous. Like the amount of when it it'll have it'll double to triple the lengths, especially if you have like a table or something. It's really crazy. So um, I like it's when I do the newsletter, I copy my entire newsletter here, I paste it into there, and I get it to convert it to HTML for me because it's just so much cleaner than what Word does. I'll put the URL on how to get that. Uh, the Clipster library, um, we're including the the Win API stuff within that file. So just make sure you download them all, save them to your um, wherever you want to save them. Just make sure you keep those files as Zerfin showed all together in your library. And uh, let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye.